Are you alright there ladies and gents? How's it going? Today, today is a sad day. It's my last ride on my wonderful, beautiful Murugutsi V85 TT. Now I've had this bike since 2020, October 2020, and I very much love it. It just, it doesn't do what I want it to do, and it's not the bike's fault. It's just not the bike that I would need for the things I want to do. Um, I've incredibly, incredibly loved every single moment of owning this motorcycle, but it's time to move on. And keep that bike from a side down. So those of you that have followed my channel purely for the Moto Guzzi content, please rest assured that there is still a V7 in my garage. Well, it's not actually in my garage, it's in my living room at the moment. But come springtime, once the weather gets a bit nicer, I'll get an MOT on that, and that will be coming out and being ridden throughout the summer months. But I do have multiple motorcycles, so uh, it'll not be the only motorcycle featured on the channel. As you are aware, if you do already be following my channel, uh, you've seen the bike that I've got to replace this, because uh, I've already done that video, I think, possibly, depending on how time has worked out. And yeah, it's, a, it's an adventure bike, it's a little bit different from this, a little bit more adventure-y. Um, whether it's a right decision or not, I don't know, I'll find out when I, I'll find out. Well, I haven't been this way for a very long time. And we've had storms, I'm hoping it's clear. <laughs> hope there's no trees down. Uh, yeah, so it's time for this one to go. Um, like I say, there will still be Moto Guzzi content on my channel, so if you are only here for the Moto Guzzis, um, please do hang around. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll promise you there will be Moto Guzzi content. And if you only join this channel because of the V85, because I own the V85 and you don't like any other motorcycle in the world, well, see you later. <laughs> I would love it if you stayed, I really would. I hope that my channel is a little bit more than just the motorcycle I ride um, but if uh, you're only here for a motorcycle of a certain type and I no longer have that bike I fully understand why you might want to bugger off and all that sort of stuff no no bad feelings or anything like that if that's what you want to do it's all good it's all cool but yeah every single ride I've had on this bike has been an adventure and every single adventure has been brilliant. I've truly, truly enjoyed every single mile I've carried out on this motorcycle. I haven't done mega amounts on it um, because my miles are split between several other motorcycles. Um, yeah, we are under 4,000 miles on this at the moment, which is not brilliant value for money when you look at the depreciation on things, but I never really kind of worry too much about the depreciation on a motorcycle. As long as I've had smiles per mile, that's value for me. I know other people are different. They like to keep hold of things for me years and stuff um, and I am also one of those people regarding the V7 I can't ever imagine me get rid of that but yeah this has been absolutely lovely riding it through country lanes taking up to the ABR rally um, and exploring going up to Leeds and camping adventures and um, down to um, uh, not sort of be playing to Dartmoor and what have you on the various camping trips I've done it's been absolutely awesome I've loved it all time to move on like I say as with every new bike day it's blooming raining of course of course <laughs> um, but I learned my lesson last time I was out which was actually when I did my reveal video for the Honda CB100 and this GoPro it got very very wet so I've sealed up around the microphone um, USB-C mic adapter thing with a bit of blue tag so I'm hoping that the camera stays working today um, obviously, with it being kind of, kind of, an exciting day for me, I kind of want the camera to work. But we'll have to see, we'll have to wait and see. With the weather being what it is, I'm not going to be going hell for leather, going a, uh, a blaze of glory out on my last ride on this bike. It'll be just a gentle poodle down to Brighton Moto where I'm going to do the part exchange. Um, they are brilliant guys, uh, if you are a Moto Guzzi fan and you want to buy a bike and you're down this way, definitely go check them out. They'll probably sort you out with a very nice deal and leave you walking away happy as Larry. Uh, they've got fantastic customer service, really friendly uh, couple that run the place. Um, and yeah, they're very, very knowledgeable with uh, the servicing and stuff as well. Um, this isn't an advert for them. They're not giving me any discounts on my Aprilia. Um, it's all full this price I'm paying, sadly. I'm not a big enough chap on the YouTubes or anything like that to get discounts or free stuff. 
yeah yeah i don't think that's ever gonna happen <laughs> it's just not <laughs> um but yeah yeah i do like to point out good customer service when i come across it um so yeah it's just gonna be a gentle ride enjoy the countryside enjoy this beautiful characteristic charismatic engine of this moto guzzi v85 tt it's just a, such a brilliant brilliant motorcycle for all the things it does which unfortunately isn't all the things i want a motorcycle to do we'll talk about the stuff i'm actually wanting from a bike when i uh, am out and stuff on the aprilia the replacement for this I do wish to offer uh, Brighton Moto just a tiny wincy bit of an apology actually. Um, the bike is absolutely filthy. I mean it was always going to be dirty riding down on a day like this anyway. But it is really really filthy. Um, I've just uh, finished a 72 hour week so um, I just didn't have any time in the last week to uh, give the bike a proper scrub. They do a really good job of cleaning them up though and to be honest anything I do they do a far better job of. So uh, yeah I mean I guess save wasting myself time with them having to redo it again eh? <laughs> I very much don't know how long that little Insta360 camera is going to carry on working for. Um, I think it came up with a low battery warning a minute ago, but that seems to have gone away. I don't really know what's going on with it. Um, but that camera might die in a minute. I might actually turn it off just to make sure that it records some of what I've done already rather than losing it. Um, yeah, uh, they don't like losing their battery mid-record, uh, which is understandable. Um, but because of the amount of processing that camera has to do, it has to think about it when you stop it recording, which takes a, potentially up to a minute to do. So I might just turn that off now. The world is currently a very, very scary place at the moment. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm incredibly concerned about the way things are going. And although uh, it, it is affecting me, it is making me um, sit and worry and uh, be nervous about what is going on and what will happen and how it might escalate or might not escalate hopefully not escalate um, just because I don't go on about that on any of my videos particularly it does not mean that I'm not worried about it all I'm um, not concerned for the lives that are currently being lost and uh, yeah yeah I mean it, it's it's horrible it's horrific um, it's vile uh, but this channel isn't about politics and stuff like that. It's a channel that I've tried to keep away from all of that sort of stuff, no matter whether I have strong beliefs on things or other people have polarized beliefs and stuff. Uh, my channel isn't a political channel. So because of that, I am very much trying to keep all of that away from it. But please, if you, you think I'm being a little bit insensitive by making content, it's not because I'm not thinking of the people being hurt by the current crisis. It's just, there's a lot of doom and gloom in the world and I, I, I don't want to be someone that's adding to that. Um, and I'm certainly not informed enough to be able to give political commentary on, uh, on these sorts of things. Um, even with more time in the military, I don't know what's going on out there. And uh, yeah, it wouldn't be right for me to say anything about it really other than I, it is in my thoughts and if I did pray it would be in my prayers too uh, but I don't but it's definitely in my thoughts anyhow with that said back to bikes well, what a beautiful beautiful motorcycle this bike has been I, I, I just can't get over how much joy it's given me and you might think well why am I getting rid of it if it gives me that much joy and well, I, I, I kind of think that sort of myself but I've only got a finite amount of room and I, I just can't fit this in my garage and have a bike that does what I want an adventure bike to do. Um, so something has to go. And this one is a bit superfluous. Uh, yeah, everything this can do, the Aprilia should be able to do no problem at all. And that will be able to do the adventurizing far, far better, I believe whether I'm able to do that on that bike is a different question altogether. It is ginormous, giganormous. It's very, very tall for me. Uh, I mean, for taller people, it's probably nothing. Uh, it's actually lower, I believe, than my Beta, even since having the Beta lowered. But the Beta is incredibly skinny and light. So uh, that is a lot less intimidating. 
whereas the Aprilia is quite hefty. It's a lot lighter than this, but it's a lot more hefty than uh, my Vita, that's, that's for certain. Well, I hope I haven't made a mistake. I hope I don't miss this bike too much. And if I do, I can always buy one second hand. Uh, I definitely prefer this yellow, white and red to the new yellow, white and red. Um, but I do like the stuff that comes with the newer V85 TT, like the tubeless wheels and uh, um, a potentially slightly nicer mapping on the fuel injection. But other than that, this one's been perfect for what it is designed for. Now then, I want to go straight on. Now we do have time. I have to go this way kind of because I've got a time slot at Brighton Moto to do my exchange. Um, I've got half an hour which is plenty of time to get where I'm going but I know if I went that way over Devil's Dyke and stuff um, I'd eat that very quickly. So I'm possibly better off just going to the bike shop after having done a little bit of twisty riding and just hanging about maybe grab a brew there or something. Oh man, proper murky. What a day for a last ride, hey? What a day. <laughs> and what a day for a first ride on the new bike. <laughs> oh. To be honest, I probably wouldn't have it any other way. I wouldn't have it any other way. It's kind of tradition for me to pick up a motorcycle and it'd be raining. <laughs> Even picking this up in uh, October, it was uh, pretty miserable. Not to start with, but it got miserable as the uh, ride went on. And uh, yeah, I got quite wet on the way home. <laughs> All right, go left turn Clyde. I do hate dual carriageways and motorways on motorcycles. I mean, I can't exactly say I'm a huge fan of them even in a car. Uh, they're so very boring, but they are very functional and they do get you from A to B very efficiently. But they're a bit rubbish on a motorbike, aren't they? Oh, well, well, thank goodness that is over with. Oh, really, really fine dual carriageway. So, so boring. Oh, rubbish, rubbish, that's what they are. And the, the rest of the route isn't much better either because Brighton <laughs> traffic and all that. But at least we can use the bus routes. We can use the bus lanes in Brighton on a motorcycle. That's forward thinking, that is. That's positive. That's brilliant for motorcyclists, brilliant for traffic, brilliant for safety as long as you um, respect the fact that you're in a bus lane and people are going to pull out on you. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it is. It's so open, open-minded, and uh, such a, a, a good way of thinking and, and treating motorcyclists. I do wish more towns and cities would open their bus lanes up to motorcyclists. Um, yeah, it's a really, really good idea for easing congestion and adding a little bit of safety. Well, I'm just about at the end of my journey, and about the end of my time with this lovely, lovely motorcycle. It's been absolutely fantastic. I've loved every single wheel turn. I really, really have. Um, but yeah, and so it seems the end is near as we draw the final curtain. But anyway, um, yeah, if you like this video, if you like this motorcycle, if you're really sad that I'm getting rid of it, please give this video a little thumbs up and drop in a comment, let me know. And if you are uh, someone that's glad that I'm getting rid of it, give it a little thumbs up too. It'll be awesome. You'll love it. It'll be amazing. <laughs> If you haven't done so, do click that subscribe button, although I can't imagine anyone watching this video is new to the channel. Um, but yes, uh, yeah, it would be awesome to have you come back for some more if you are new. Any houses, just about there. So, um, yes, uh, you ride safe, take care, and we shall catch you all in the next one. Bye-bye for now. Keep that bike. Brother, sir. Hey, no, you gotta keep that bar. Rubber side So this is Brighton Motor.
come buy a bike from them. They're really good people.